welcome back to Genshin Impact. We're finally about to go face off with Scaradouche. Curious? Curious about what? Curious about her fate. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur. So it has always drawn my curiosity. So to me, Fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? Ah, so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. We won't lose. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. Come on, let's do it! Your asshole better have a good boss fight song. If not, I'm replacing it. I've done it twice before, with Child's Boss Fight theme and the Senor's. Both of their songs sucked. He ain't gonna have as good of a song as his mom. He's not worthy. No, he's not worthy of anything. Now I have a picture of the asshole. I didn't want that. You know I'm deleting that. Who would have thought the world would be so eager for my birth? I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is you knowing and powerful now like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. No, not even close. So we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer... A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Bro, you don't deserve a new title. It really feels like a god! No, he don't! A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. You sure are something! Dishing out compliments at a time like this? But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. So he's still the same old Balladeer inside. Strife is engraved upon every god and every Gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you! Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? Lowly creature, know your place. Hey, only I can talk to her that way. <laughs> Still the same Balladeer we know. The strife engraved upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. 
There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. Yeah, you really need all that blood on your hands. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. But from now on, Nahida's followers will only continue to increase in number. <laughs> Your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor. The god of wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. You don't fucking deserve it, you piece of shit. Oh, my friends can't help in this battle. Because the energy box generated during the... Yeah, what's our little buddy gonna do? Oh shit, oh, 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 oh. Prepare to be blown away! Yo, hold on, do we hear a beat coming from you? An actual good thing? The only good thing for you to exist for? You're only half a body, like you couldn't even make a giant thing. At my command, you shall fall! I think not. Uh, no rest for the wicked. God, reveal thyself. Oh, goodness gracious. Go as Wind, hear me. Churn! What's gonna churn? Nothing at all. That's what I think. Wingblade! Stop pushing me. Uh, midnight Fantasmagoria! But you're the feeble one here. I don't know what chanting we got in the background. Bro, you can't hurt me when I'm literally inside of it. Actually, he is hurting me, but not a lot. You can't do anything, how pathetic! You're the one who's insignificant, you're not even killing me! What kind of all-powerful god is this? As you wish, mate, for life. No rest for the Animal Traveler had never been such a G. So this is your true strength. Let's do this. Tremble. Burn to oblivion. Mm. Immune, huh? The big idea. That's what I gotta be asking. So, how do I hurt you at this point? Doesn't look like it can hurt a she. 
shield. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? The data collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? Yo, <laughs> hold on. Did she just download his moveset? <laughs> Fucking moveset downloaded. She you reset. The 168th loop. Huh? <laughs> Did you know that in the effort to create you? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzeris festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. I would have loved it if Lumin just then had her eyes glow. Oh, my girl decides not to. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. My will mean just sidestepped. A boar. Damn, that's that right there is a is an honor. Yo, isn't she here in the fight? A thousand eons, mine to dominate. Yo, what is this near now? Burn to oblivion. Are we playing near? Does this thing just blast in a way? Hey. You filth. We do need to get rid of these. They are gonna hurt me. Yeah. 
really doesn't seem like I can touch them. We gotta wait for this to destroy the shield before I... Pretty sick boss fight, to be honest. Just the cutscenes and everything, like Sumeru is flexing on every other place. Reality is pain. Hold on. What do you mean? Am I unleashing its skill right now? Oh, that's what you. Mean. Yo, you gonna hurt now, boy? Good riddance. Cool. No, I just did a super for you. Oh, I can't hit these fast enough. I'm gonna explode. No rest for the. I'm gonna explode. It's over. Hit back. Not possible. God damn, this is a serious boss fight. Wait. No, oh, I mean, just gotta go to him now. Just hit him up. Where by my sword? Share my knowledge! Windblade! Yeah. Will this sit on him? Uh. No, it will weave. Yeah. Oh, this boy's Shadow got a bop somehow. Oh. Alright, I get you. I know what we gotta do. Our little buddies, our little, our little near automata friend here is just gonna shred him. Is pain. <laughs> run, little machine, run! Go the danger archon, booked it. Right in your nuts. To oblivion. That's a shit ton of damage. So after you break his shield the first time, you never have to break it again. I mean, yeah, just let your little near buddy do all the work. I mean, look at this thing. Paimon can't do this. She says, ouchie? Oh my god, you're making me wish I had her even more. Hey, Balladeer, snapshot! What, you don't like your picture taken? Humans. Filthy humans. Yeah, fall right on your head. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh. We have.
haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermansoul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. Bro, I still want to talk about how in that boss fight, Wumin was just... She was stabbing that sword into the ground, keeping steady. That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. That fight and everything was so good. The cutscene, Sumeru is flexing. Sumeru is the best in terms of music, except when it's fighting, and cutscenes and story. Like, oh my god. Destination, but I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata to be as polluted as this. Polluted? Surely not. It it must be due to forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge? It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Hmm, your inference seems logical enough. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshrit's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadavata nearly exhausting her power. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermansoul itself already in danger. So... If we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean in order to save us, Greater Lord Rukadavata? Hmm. The world will have to forget her. Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermansoul. <laughs> Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just... Uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions? All the way up to her last breath. She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. By clue, you mean the words, world forget me? Yes. Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now... We have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Rukadavata tell us the truth in person. I hope we can use this truth to save everybody. Each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. That's so scary. Don't worry. It should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go. Oh, I can't look at that right now. Are we in the air? And why is there a huge boat? That's the bowl of consciousness, which symbol... Wow. Mm. What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them. Of course the monsters don't get pulled in. You know, it's been a long time since I fought actual hairy chairs. Nice and spicy. 
and slimes. Like, it's been a long time. Ever since I finished with that quest line in the desert a long time ago, it's been a long, long time since I've seen them. Really gonna fight more of you? It seems like you're trying to pad out time that we don't need to waste. What is Goba gonna do to it? Just breathe on it? Maybe maybe Goba got bad breath today. I don't like how I'm only fighting one enemy over here. I'm supposed to be fighting all of you! I don't like it when assholes think they can stay on the sidelines. Yeah, you die. You fucking die. And you? Well, you already know what's happening to you. Goodbye. I am not. There's no way you're gonna. I'll wait. I'm seeing the path. I didn't have to clear out the enemies here, did I? I could have just ran. I think I can make this. Ooh, I don't think I can make this. Yeah, you can't even grab onto the signs there, so I have to fight them. Fuck, I hate fighting Rift Wolves! I don't have a choice now. Seems I've gotten one stuck over there now, so that's great. That's not going to work. I guess it just did. Goodbye. You think they would just start re-flying again? Bro, with this altitude... And then I'm not gonna be able to make it, cause watch, you can't climb on the boat. God damn it. I hate that fucking excuse. Wait, I just realized something. We're moving! Wait, we're moving? How are we moving? How the hell are we moving right now? Why were you standing on the edge? Were you contemplating? See you later, asshole. Are you still... Fall off the boat too. Shit, shit, shit. Damn it. No. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna start pissing myself off in a second. Oh, uh, why do I have to be so incompetent? I swear, I'm the only person in the world who messes up this bad. <laughs> 